I turned The Legend of Zelda into an educational coding game. Three years ago, my college hosted a serious game jam. Well, a game jam about making serious games. A lot of the students, in fact, did not take it seriously. <laughs> a penis. For this course, all the students had three weeks to design and prototype a serious game. The only thing my uninspired Google Gaga gamer slash coder brain could think of is making an educational Zelda coding game, where you control Link via code. Since it's impossible to make a full game in just a few hours or weeks, I decided only to make a gameplay prototype. This was my first React project. As you can imagine, the code I wrote here is the ugliest code known to mankind. Good news, there is actually one thing that's more ugly than the React code itself, and that's the game. What is that? What is that? Wait! Oh, anyway, I'm get, kind of getting tired talking about code. Let's talk about gameplay which, in this case, is more code. Fuck, the code you write is executed once per round. You can move the hero up, down, left or right. You can also attack up, down, left or right. Once you reach level 2, you can do a spin attack. When you reach level 3, you can do a self-heal. You can get all the monsters on the board, all the rocks on the board. You can get the position of the queen on the board. And you can get the position of the hero on the board. You can get specific information on the tiles. You can get the entity by the ID. So if the ID number, you can find it. And you can get all the entities on the board. With all these help from efforts, you can complete any of the levels I created. Talking about levels, each level is supposed to teach you something new and break your previous code. So level 1 is the most basic way to implement a pathing system. Nice! In level 2, the pathing already gets a bit harder because there's a river pathing the direct path, meaning your code from before probably won't work anymore. Level 3, some unavoidable enemies are introduced, so you'll have to learn how to attack. Level 4, you'll need to learn how to use your spin attack, which you hopefully have unlocked by then. And in the final level, level 5, it basically combines all of the skills of attacking and writing a fancy version of a pathing algorithm. To be honest, these levels are nice. But what is actually cool is writing your own custom levels with the editor. Generate the code and then um, use that JSON data to play the level. Feel free to send me your cool levels on Twitter and I will share it with the community and we can maybe find solutions together. Three years ago when I wrote this prototype, I used to have friends. Now, I don't. I lost them all. Well, at least we have ChatGPT nowadays, so I'm going to ask GPT to beat these levels. GPT 3.5 shit the bed. So I decided to switch to GPT 4 instantly. GPT 4 did easy work of level 1 by basically just extending the sample code I sent with it. I sent it up before. I designed level 2 to not work with the same code like level 1. So since it uses sample code, GPT also failed level 2. But uh, I'll show the clip anyway because there was a funny bug during this. Even though this is now a new instance of our AI, AI overlords. I don't know why our skeleton is going for the queen this time, this is also interesting. But he's fighting against the skeletons this time, he killed one. He got XP. Uh, there's a bug. Wait, there's a bug. <laughs> the, the, the game thought you win because somebody reached the queen, but that somebody was a skeleton. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh. This bug shocked Copilot so much, it decided to stop talking with me. So I decided to start a new topic, change the prompt a bit to allow it to be more sophisticated and ignore the code below and use it as documentation only. And then it found the holy grail. B F S. The first time he used the algorithm, he got blocked by the skeleton, but it showed that he tried to avoid the water this time instead of going through it, which he can't. 
So I told him he should add some attacking when he gets blocked or when there's an enemy nearby. And then, look at this magic. Hey, old man. Give me everything. Oh, oh, uh, call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! With the exact same code, he made quick work of level 3. And level four. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. At this point, I was gaining a lot of confidence in the code written by GPT. Well, this all changed when I pressed play on level five. Link decided to just protest and not do anything. My guess is the search algorithm just does not find that branch. So he ignores it and then does not find a solution and then does not move Link. With more prompting you could probably fix this pretty easily, but I think this is a good ending point for GPT and maybe for you to hop in. If you want to try it out, go to the link in the description. And if you do enjoy it, let me know if I should make a full game out of this. 